Hello and welcome back. Today I am reviewing Folklore by Taylor Swift. This is the first of two albums she released last year in 2020. Uh, I will be talking about the second one uh, of more next week. So this album just celebrated its one year anniversary in July. This album was released on July 24th, 2020. And it's also her 8th studio album. This was recorded between April and July 2020. Since this was released a global pandemic. Uh, as well as her uh, next studio album, Evermore. This uh, album was produced by Swift herself. Along with Jack Antonoff. Uh, who uh, also produced some of her earlier work like 1989, and has collaborated with other artists producing for them, such as Lord, and he was also a member of the band Fun, if you guys remember, you know, those guys. But, uh, this album has a runtime of about one hour and four minutes, and with the bonus track, The Lakes, this album uh, has a runtime of one hour and seven minutes, if you include that. Then, real quick, I'd like to say that this album did surprise me upon release when she, you know, uh, announced it and released the album as well. Out of the few albums I listened to in 2020, this was one of the best albums I listened to, and honestly, I didn't really listen to many new albums last year, but on this album, Taylor changes it up and gives us more of an alternative and like an indie uh, type sound instead of her pop sound, which was on her previous three releases. Uh, I was honestly surprised by it and how well uh, the track sounded as well. Uh, I thought the whole album was decent. The tracks I personally enjoyed were Exile, featuring Bon Iver, August, and Invisible String. Today, I will be giving this album a 5 out of 5. I hope you all uh, enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your thoughts down below in the comments, because uh, I'm hoping some of you guys listen to these albums along with me to form your own opinions. Next week, I will be reviewing Evermore by Taylor Swift, and that will be the last of uh, any Taylor Swift album reviews until she re releases Red, Taylor's version, then I will be reviewing both Red and Red, Taylor's version. Uh, I will see you all next time. I'd like to say real quick that there are eight different covers for Folklore, and I don't own all of them, but this is the one I managed to pick up, uh, I believe, last year at, in store. So, I am happy with it, and, you know, one day I'd like to own all eight if they're still available.